once you draw a line like that the first time, the next time you have to draw it, it gets easier. The time after that, it's much, much easier. And usually by then you're done because you no longer get engaged with those energies that would require you to have to draw that line when you get up close and personal with them. So don't worry, this is a, an experience that you're going through that will mightily pay off in the future. Some of those upset feelings are upset feelings that are based on bruises that you have. So for example, if, you know, if I, if I had a real trigger about, um, I, I, let's think, if I had a real trigger about being pale and, and, you know, not, not being someone who, with, you know, very tan skin and the narcissist was like, oh, you're so pale, you'll never get anywhere. You know, I'm going to be like, <gasps> he said I'm pale. That's my worst fear. Now, it's a very silly example, but whatever it is they're accusing you of that's triggering you, there is they found one of your points. And the gift of someone putting their finger in, a, in an area of identity that you have a wound around is you get to kind of let it go. It's like, oh, okay, so I'm pale and there's nothing I can do about that. That's just going to be my skin for the rest of my life. So I'm going to accept it. I'm going to stop fighting. I'm going to stop putting fake tan on all the time. I'm going to accept it. The more we come to accept ourselves, the more present we become for life. So the gift of going head to head with a narcissist is you find yourself more. The pain of going through a war with narcissists is they try and strip you of yourself. Because as you affirm yourself to them and don't just give them what they want around their agenda, they will try and weaken you because you've just cut off their power supply. You've just cut off a source of energy that they were using to live through and feel good in. So yeah, underneath all of it, they're wounded like, like any of us are when we're behaving in that way. They may or may not come to terms with that wound. So you can hold compassion, but from a distance. Um, and if they're attacking you, the best thing that you can do is just not engage and just wait till it blows over. Because if they keep attacking and get no answer, eventually they run out of steam. But if you get engaged, they're getting energy from you. So let yourself go through the bruises and let them come up, see what they are, learn about yourself, get support, recognize it's an emotionally vulnerable time while you're going through that and know that you will come out the other side and that no one will be able to get you in quite this way again in the future because you're learning through this experience.